All right, guys, I'm back with another unboxing tonight, and this one is gonna be of the Dakota Decoy Signature Series uh, Honker Feeder Six Pack in full bodies. So when you open the box, what you see, you got some stakes or not stakes, some stands, which that's one thing really good. Any Dakota full body you buy. They come with the stands instead of the stakes, so you can put them on ice and you don't have to worry about jam jamming them into the frozen ground or anything. There's one there. There's what they look like. Really good looking, very good detail on the feathers. Uh, they're made out of the EVA plastic, so you can see they kind of push in, and they're not super solid, so they don't get damaged as much. And what I also bought today when I went to Shields uh, was a bag to put them in. That I'll open up here for in a little bit for you guys. Uh, banded bag, six pack, or a six slot uh it's the XL since there are bigger decoys, so you had to get the XL one to make them fit. Um, and this pack comes with two, or not two, uh, three traditional feeders and three stretch neck feeders. So that first one I showed you was a stretch neck, and this one right here is a traditional. I'll get it open here. Here's a traditional feeder. And I'll get uh, this bag opened up for you guys to see here. Sticker, banded sticker. Put this quickly in my dresser with my other, other decals. I also have a banded duck bag that I put my Dakota decoys in. Uh, those floaters that I showed you guys unboxing. And it's a really nice bag, got good straps on it, holds up well. This one's nice because it's got these buckles here so you can buckle the top of it and keep it nice and protected. So you can see nice big pockets to put them in. So they'll fit in there nicely. I'll get a few of these set up and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, got them on the stands. And as you can see, very good detail on the feathers. The flocking looks nice. And one thing that's really nice, they call these their wind, uh, wind walker motion bases. So as you can see, you can either hook the bungee cord on there and for if you have a little bit stronger wind so when the wind hits it it can't move quite as much or you can unhook it like this one see i don't it's kind of hard to tell there i don't have it hooked on the uh the little clip right here so it moves a lot easier and it can f spin freely like it can spin all the way around there. This one, on the other hand, it gets to a certain point and then it goes back. And these things move in the slightest bit of wind. Got a little something there. There we go. Um, and so that's one thing that's really nice about them. And like I said, the attention that they paid to the detail or the attention they paid to the detail of the feathers is just fantastic. I can't wait to get these out in the field and set up a pretty sweet looking spread. But before I go, I'm going to put them in the bag here and bring you guys one more time to show you that. Alright guys, here is the bag with them in. 
and I'll set it down here so I can show you guys what it fully looks like when it's all closed and stuff. So guys, like I was saying before, this flap folds down like this, covers up the heads of your decoys nicely, clips down to here, and you got your carrying strap that comes up. Velcro's on there. Then you got yourself a nice decoy bag. So go out there, get you some Dakota decoys, get you a nice bag to put them in, and go get some geese.